Welcome in to another West Report, man. Of course, as always, I'm your host, James West, man. Hit the like button on this video. Hit the subscribe button to the YouTube channel. And as always, man, follow Athletically Inclined on all social media platforms. We've eclipsed 320 subscribers. And for y'all that keep watch on all videos, I am giving out $100 to four, our 400 subscriber by November 11th. Second, now of course we gotta eclipse over 400 subscribers for this event to happen. Now of course, man, if we don't get to 400, hey, I'm keeping my hundred dollars. So get, let's get over 400 subscribers by November 11th, and hey, man, we'll get it going. But if you haven't seen the latest roundtable, man, check that out. If you haven't seen the latest Mr. Fantasy Therapy, check that out. And for all our baseball fans that are keeping up with the ALCS and the NLCS, please tune into our baseball. Shows, man, we got everything going on with Mr. Clancy, Mr. Ricky, Mr. Spencer, Mr. Jet Boyer himself, man. Please check out those videos. And hey, man, for those tech people as well, man, hey, check out the new Me Tech videos, man, by our Mikey, our nerd. Hey, guys, get it going. And before I keep keep it going, man, hey, just shout out our sponsors, man. T Box Texas, Dave and Busters, Ghost Pins, Bet Stamps, Cowork Coffees. Guys, man, we're growing as a sports podcast community man we're up there man we're almost to that mark where we can start getting monetized man so hey we just want to thank y'all for all the love and support man and hey man believe in the message like we have man and of course maybe soon you could be on the show with one of us because maybe we're your favorite sports <laughs> commentator so man getting going on man with the sports man guys we got nba coming around the corner october 24th is really right around the corner holy crap we're less than Six days away from that. And, of course, man, drama, it seems like. I don't know what's the deal with James Harden, man. It seems like he's one day practicing with the team, and another day he's on a no-show, and then another day he hasn't repaired his relationship with the front office, and then he has. This is just, in my mind, a fumbling, a missed dribble. Basically, he's getting pressed too hard right now by that full-court press, and he's right now not handling it well. Now, of course, if y'all had not known, he wanted to be traded, obviously, of course, with his relationship with Joe Daryl Morey, but now he is staying put. I really do not see how, you know, he'll, he's going to get out of Philadelphia. I know the Clippers have been a very highly, you know, team that wanted him, but of course they're not offering the players like Terrence Mance or those 28 and 29 first round draft picks for the future. Cause at the time, you know, looking at it now, yes, the Clippers in my mind, they're just a good team. They're not a great team. But, of course, if you can secure that 28-29 um, first-round draft picks, man, the Clippers could be a bad team after getting rid of, in my opinion, what they should do, get rid of Kawhi and Paul George because they're just eating up a lot of payroll for not really playing much. But Harden, man, dude, figure it out, man. Dude, you've had a lug you've had a great career. You've had a great time getting paid, not by OKC and not by, you know, Houston and Philadelphia, but also through your sponsorships. Dude, figure it out, man. If you want to chip, man, get it done, man. Just work with Joel and B, man. But we're gonna find out and see, man. I mean, I, I mean, if Philadelphia wants to just, you know, let the floodgates go and then start losing games and start having ESPN up their butt every day, then that's fine. Then James Harden probably will get traded by either before or on the trade deadline in February. But James Harden, man, hey, you gotta show up to work, man. We show up to work, man. We make way less than you. I know, man. We're not athletes. We don't understand it. But still, you got, you got, you, you got to show up, man. Show up to work, man. That's all I gotta say, man. And of course, man, jumping into the next type of topics, man. I wasn't gonna speak on Chandler Jones, but then I just found out he just got arrested for the second time within a month. Now, guys, he has not been playing with the Raiders this season. He's already had a suspicious amount of posts from Twitter to Instagram stories about what's going on in his afterlife and all that, but. Right now, of course, I think it's the second time he's been um, arrested in the month for the, for, I guess, not following the rules with his, I guess, probation or domestic violence, like restraining order type of things. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a police officer. You don't, don't quote me on that. But when you get arrested for the second time and you're not even playing football, you've been on the non-injury list, the Raiders have just, they're really done with him in general. Come on, man. You got to get help, man. You got to get help, man. That's all I got to say, man. Just got to get help, man, Chandler Jones. Because, man, you, you've you been a force, man, when you were with New England, when you were with Arizona, man. You've been a force. Of course, man, Max Crosby would love to have you on the other side. But, man, handle your business off the field, man, because, hey, man, we need you back. We're doing what you do best, and that's playing football. 
Now, of course, man, jumping into more football topics. Hey, man, this is now besides all the quarterback drama needing teams that need a quarterback, and they are technically the first prospect off the board. I think right now you can see it right there. Yeah, right there. My man Brock Bowers, tight end from you know University of Georgia, man. He's been a stud ever since he's walked in, man. Highly recruited athlete out of California, man. This guy, he's my number one pick, man. If it wasn't a quarterback need his league, he, I think he's the best player on the board. Of course, he is. Right now, he he got hurt in his previous game against Vanderbilt. He's going through ankle surgery right now. Of course, right now, looking through ankle surgery. If I'm him, man, take the time off that you need. Man, you know George is going to hold down the fort, you know, with their schedule. In my opinion, I think it's a fairly easy schedule. We'll see what happens in Knoxville when you go to Tennessee. But other than that, man, stay healthy. I see Georgia right now being an undefeated team. If not, they got that one loss going into the SEC championship game, which I think they will be be either playing Bama or I don't even know who's going to come out of the West because I feel like it's Bama some days, and then some days I think it's LSU, but LSU's already got two losses, and you think it's Ole Miss because Ole Miss beat LSU, but Alabama beat Ole Miss. So who knows who's going to beat who at the end of the day, but Brock Bowers, man, get healthy, man. You already know you're you a top five pick in my book now, of course, Depending on draft needs, you probably won't be top five. I think literally, man, you are Gronk 2.0 on the field. You I sh- you showed your dominance against Bama, man, your freshman. You showed dominance against TCU, your sophomore. Year. Hey, man, dude, you've been a beast, man. Make sure to get that ankle healthy, man. That's all I know. Now jumping into the women's side of sports, their name right. You see Caitlin Clark right over there, Iowa stud, shooting deep, you know, basically the – the woman version, they say, of Steph Curry because she can drop back and shoot it deeper than the men. Now, of course, the other day, man, hey, man, they, they played a game against DePaul, and a record-setting number happened. Over 50,000 fans. I think it's technically over 55,000 fans, but let's say over 50,000. 50,000 fans came out and watched Iowa girls basketball play a game against DePaul. That is the most – attended college basketball game, but a women's basketball game ever in history of the sport. Now, of course, if y'all don't know Caitlin Clark, man, she's going to be scoring 30 points a game. Iowa's going to be good. Iowa's going to be 30 and four during the season. They're probably going to win the Big Ten. They're probably going to go to the March Madness. They're probably going to be in the Final Four, if not in the Big Dance. You saw that last year against LSU, but I got my money on LSU. They have just reloaded and done the transfer portal. They just won last year, and they got most of their talent back on top of top females from Louisville and some other well-known schools now. Of course, I think Kaitlyn will go probably top three in the WNBA draft. That's what I'm more excited about. I'll probably be interested in that. But having over 50,000, 55,000 people watch a basketball game. Now, yes, the game was at the Iowa football stadium. So, of course, they were able to fit all those people in. And, of course, you know, a tradition in Iowa, they all – football teams and all that, they always wave at the children's hospital through the corner. Usually it's always been a football tradition. But now, hey, that the girls' basketball got to play on that stand, they got to do their ever first wave at the children's hospital. If you don't know about it, man, dive deep, man. Do some research on it, man. It's a great, great little cause, great little thing that they do for tradition. Of course, hopping into more women's sports. Look, man, you see right there, you see the Cavender twins, man. Former, you know, former Fresno State girls, then now Miami girls, they decided they were going to take an A. After making it to the Elite Eight, the furthest Miami Hurricanes girls basketball has been in program history, they decided they want to take a year off to join the WWE. Well, it's coming out now that Haley, I hope I got, I hope I got that one right. Hopefully, we'll see. If it's Switch, you know, it's the twin thing. It is what it is. But Haley's came out and said she will enter the transfer portal in the 24-25 season. Now, of course, Miami is still an option for her to have, but with the time off doing the WWE, man, I don't really know. In my opinion, look, I, I know, hey, in today's world, man, hey, if you want to get the bag, get the bag. You know, I'm, I'm not going to hate on that, but come on, girls, man. Y'all got to stay in one lane. You can't be hooping one day and then saying, okay, I'm going to do TikTok, I'm going to do Instagram, I'm going to do WWE, and then all of a sudden say, you know what? I'm going to come back. Someone needs to let me play in 24-25. That's not how this usually works, but I know in today's age it is how it's going to work. This shouldn't be how it's going to go. Now, of course, the uh, twin sister, Hannah, she's mentioned that she's not coming back. That's what she said. Now, of course, these two girls, I think they're 
They're a top duo. Of course, you've seen that last year when they made the Elite Eight. But in my opinion, I always say, man, stick to one lane. Don't be putting – don't be doing everything at once. You will get burned out. I know today's new age kids, they stay on their phone all day and do what they got to do for likes and comments and all that. But if you're going to watch the Cavender Twins, man, watch them on the WWE platform this coming up year. But we'll see what happens in 24-25. I hope – you know, in my opinion, I wish they wouldn't do it like this, but if, if it is how it's going to go, hopefully the girls will come back and play for Miami in 24-25. Of course, man, even talking about female sports, you know, talking about on top of the Caitlin Clark and the Iowa having over 50. Of course, if you've seen the one roundtable, not roundtable, the one West report I had, you've seen that the Nebraska women had over 90,000 fans in attendance to watch a three-set match volleyball game you know hey man there are there are hits in women's sports man that you know they're just hidden gems that we don't know about because either a they don't get that much attention or b you know they just in general how it always is with the men and women but for that you know hey i will say i didn't put this on my board over here but hey guess what 2028 olympics is in la of course always as you always know but man hey we got new sports new sports have been allowed now hey we're gonna have baseball we're going to have softball. We're going to have lacrosse. We're going to have flag football, even though I don't like that idea. But I know what the safety matters. Flag football is the way. I think we're going to have cricket and squash. And there's another sport I'm missing. So please forgive me on that. But, of course, the highlight one is flag football. Now, of course, we've heard, you know, Gronk and, Ty- and Tyreek Hill and some other players say they need to play. And blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, at first I was like, dude, y'all don't need to play flag football. Y'all are professional. But – if we send LeBron and KD and all those dudes to play basketball for the gold, we need to have our best football players out there playing for the gold for flag football. Now, of course, I find it a little silly. At least it's – yeah, it's almost like the Pro Bowl junior. But, hey, at least, you know, some players now will start getting – you know, they'll get paid for winning a gold medal and they'll get paid for doing this. We should win gold in flag football, I hope. If not, that's a disgrace to us in general. But – other than that, man, hey, man, wrapping up the West Report, man, and as always, man, like I mentioned, follow, like the video, follow the YouTube channel, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on all social media platforms. Man, I hope you like the new layout. I copied this from Mr. Fantasy because, man, I love his layout, so hopefully I take in some of his stuff, sprinkle in a little Mr. West Report stuff, man, and hey, man, we're going to get we're gonna get things right, man. Hey, man, keep an eye out for what AD's got on um, you know, on deck next, we're doing special things, man. So be, be up to, up to news for all that stuff. Hey man, keep an eye on for new videos. We're supposed to have a new Duke it out very soon. It's going to be intriguing. We should have a new three man rush should be intriguing. Hopefully, man, we got some more baseball videos coming up and Hey man, be on the lookout, man. I got the new NBA 23, 24 preview season episode hopefully you'll see a different new set of faces than the usual but hey man we're gonna get it knocked out and keep it going man as always man hey i'm it's james west man it's the west report man hope you enjoyed this of course i've always did